Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 27th video in PySight 2 GUI development. So in the previous video we have learned that uh, how you can create spin box in PySight 2. So this was from the previous video. If you want a source code you can just check my blog code loop.org for getting the source code. Now uh, in this video we are going to talk about creating of Q message box in PySight 2. So if you see the documentation of uh, Qt for Python or we can call it PySight 2. Now the QMasterBox class provides a model dialog for information for informing the user or for asking the user a question and receiving an, an answer. So you can see that it's related to uh, Qt widgets dot uh, Q widget and you can see that it's Qt widget dot Q message box. And uh, there are different functions that you can use uh, and also we have static functions and uh, now you can see that there are different models that you can use. Uh, we have a warning message box, we have a question message box, info message box, about message box, and uh, and you can see that. So you can see that there are different uh, uh, icons uh, and labels that you can use. We have question, information, warning, critical. Uh, so now let's just create our practical example. So I've already created my uh, some boiler plate code for creating of the window. It's just a simple window that extends from Q widget, and these are my title and icon. This is uh, for setting of the icon. So this is just a window. You can just get the source code from codeloop.org. Now, if I run this, you can see that we have a window in here. Okay, now uh, let's just create our message box. So first we need some imports in here. Uh, we need to just import Q uh, button, Q push button, and we need Q message box. And now I need to uh, also let me just add a layout, uh, Q vertical box layout. So now in here, uh, first we need to just create a QV box layout. Okay, first let me just create my method. I'm going to just call it diff create button. And uh, V box, QV box layout. And now we need to create our buttons. So BTN1 and uh, a Q push button and the text is just open about message box. Uh, now I'm going to just copy this. Uh, this is open for example warning message box. Let me just change this to warning and change this to BTN2 and also uh, we are going to just use information message box and this is btn3 uh, also i'm going to just uh, add another button so this is for a question message box Uh, okay, now we have uh, created these buttons and uh, let me just Okay, now we need to add these buttons in our vertical box layout. So add widget. So btn1 and I'm going to copy this And paste so btn2 btn3 and btn4 and at the end don't forget to set your main layout so to the vbox layout now we are going to just call this in here so cell dot create button and now if i run this uh, you can see that i have uh, some buttons in here right now there is no functionality for this button now First, let's just create our about message box. Uh, for this, I'm going to just create a, a method. I'm going to just call it diff show about. 
and q message box dot about now the first one is the parent and we are going to just give itself the second one is the title so about box and the third one is the description uh, for example whatever you want I'm going to just give this is about uh, application and now we need to just connect this with the clicked signal of the button so we want to do this for the first button btn1 dot clicked dot connect solve dot show about now I'm going to just run this and if I click on this you can see that we have an about message box now let's just uh, create another one let me just copy this and paste it in here so this is uh, uh, for the uh, warning and show warning change this to for example warning this is warning and also need to change this to warning this time so you can see parent and this is the uh, title and this is the description now let's just connect this also uh, let me just copy and paste this in here and change this to btn2 and this is show a warning and uh, let me just also create my uh, another one that is info show info this is the title is info this is information change this to btn3 and also this is show info okay now if I run this and let me just check this okay now if I click on about this is our about warning this is the warning you can see for the icon and also we have uh, this is information we haven't changed this to information so information and you can see that we have an eye in here so now the another kind of message box is question message box that you can for example ask a question or something from the user now for this the first thing I need I'm going to just create a label and I need to import the Q label in here so first let's uh, create our label and cell dot label Q label I'm not going to add anything in the label text and I'm going to just add this in my vbox layout so dot add widget uh, self dot label now we are going to just create diff show uh, question Now we're going to just create a, a variable and I'm going to just say Q message box dot question. Now you can see that we need to give parent title. So self and the title is, uh, for example, uh, whatever you want, you can just say a question message box and uh, also you need to give the description for example do you like PySite 2 and also we need to just give our buttons for example yes button no button 
uh, so you can just give q message box dot yes or q message box dot no and uh, uh, now let me just uh, check this because we have a label and we are going to change the label according to the so if reply is q message box dot yes we are going to just say self dot label dot set text and we are going to just say I like PySci2 and in the LF or reply is Q message box dot no and let me just copy this paste it in here I don't like PySci2 uh, now we need to just connect this uh, in here and uh, we simply copy this and this change this to btn4 and change the method to show question now I'm going to run this and if I click on open question you can see that do you like PySight if I click on yes I like PySay2 and if I click no I don't like PySay2 so like this you can work with Q message box and PySay2 I will add a source code to the video description uh, please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video